What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I've got 50 more hidden features I'd like to share with you guys in iOS 9. Apple's been fairly discreet about all of the changes they've made in this latest operating system, and they've done a ton underneath the hood that we don't even know about. So here's 50 more hidden features I'd like to share with you guys. And uh, this is a godsend, something I've been waiting for forever, the ability to finally delete alarms by just sliding them, instead of having to go into edit and deleting them manually. When setting an alarm in iOS 9, you now have the ability to actually set vibration settings inside of the sound as well. So now if you go up, you go to vibration and you can set a custom vibration right here in the alarm settings. Inside of the notes application, Apple has made a ton of under the cover updates as well. So first off, these straight lines, how can you achieve them? Well, first off, there's this new ruler option right here. When you enable it, you can drag it anywhere you like. And now when you draw, you have a straight line. So that's just one of the features. Now you can adjust the thickness of the line by drawing either faster or slower. It'll be a a more fuller, darker color. In iOS 9, Notes now supports previews for both web links and addresses, so you can get a very nice interface for both. The Notes application now directly supports voice memos, so you can import them here and play them directly from the Notes application. And Notes on the iPad now supports a full screen mode. Previously, this was only available on the iPhone 6 Plus in landscape. Apple has made quite a bit of adjustments to the mail application as well. Now, whenever you insert a photo, let's say this one right here, you can hold it to bring up this menu, and now you can mark up your photos directly from the Maps application. So draw on it, you know, draw your arrows, tell that person whatever you need to do. And now it's been modified directly from the mail application. Super handy. Let's take a look at the photos application. We know we can easily select multiple photos now, but here's something I didn't know. If you're in a photo, and this can be from within the photos application, messages, mail, anywhere, just drag down and you can close it without needing to go over here to click out really convenient. In this latest version of iOS, you can now hide multiple photos at once. So let's click on the share settings and now hide you'll hide four items, so not just one at a time. Now, whenever playing videos inside of the Photos application, there's a new scrubber for videos, and it's located down on the bottom. Now, beyond that, whenever you want to modify any slow motion video, you now have to press the edit button. You can't just grab it and start editing it like you could in iOS 8, which I think is a step backwards. Now, there's one very little difference inside of the photo editing application. Now, whenever going to crop, there's a new icon for the crop in iOS 9, and it no longer automatically crops when you click on it just like it would on iOS 8. On iOS 9, you can now zoom in on video while it's playing and scroll around. So you can move it anywhere to get that detailed shot that you absolutely wanted. This is a fantastic feature. And part of the Proactivity Siri feature in iOS 9, you can search for photos by either date or location. Siri, show me photos taken on June 15th. And there you go. In iOS 9, there's no longer a five photo limit for mail. You can email as many photos as you'd like. The search function inside of mail has received a much needed update. It's much cleaner now and way more organized on iOS 9. On iPads in the mail application, when sending a photo, you now have the option to change the size in here, not from the photos application. It's not absolute. So you can change the size before sending it from here. We asked and Apple finally listened. In the latest version of iOS 9, Apple has finally added a print preview screen. So now you can finally see what you're about to print. Siri can remind you based on location to do something. Siri, remind me to read these notes when I get home. Siri can also remind you to read web pages later. Remind me of this web page at home. Siri can now natively do conversions. It takes answers from Wolfram Alpha. iOS 9 now does it natively, and it's a lot faster as a result. Siri is much faster in iOS 9 both to activate and to get you answers. Now that proactivity feature expands to many areas of the phone. Siri can now play certain music at certain times at certain locations just by plugging in your headphones into your headphone jack. It's that smart. You can now ask Siri for the location of your friends and Find My Friends is basically integrated deeply within Siri. She can give you a direct result with a map when asking her. Now in my last video, I said Siri received some new voices. However, Siri received voices for many new languages as well as several new languages as well. So definitely some worthy updates there. In iOS 9, when you have a notification on your lock screen and you use Touch ID, there's a new animation that the notification goes up. On iOS 8, it just fades out. When your battery dips below 20%, there's a new alert that actually allows you to add low power mode straight from here. So if I select it, it'll give you this little prompt. And if you go ahead and hit continue, it will enable it. Now, another thing is low power mode will automatically turn off when you charge your device above 80%. There's a new interface in messages for the quick reply via the photos and the audio. So if I hold it, as you can see, 
it's now a different interface up here and same thing goes for this guy up here so it's a little bit different some modifications there now there's a new interface for dictation here as well it's got a very similar interface to the voice control in ios 9 as well in ios 9 if someone sends you a widget from an apple watch you can now view it in full screen with a black background so it's a gif and it looks really nice there's a ton of new flag emojis in ios 9 apple has added one for every single country safari has received some love as well you can now search for words on the page this is nothing new but it's been relocated to the share setting so you can find on page and there's a new interface for it. it's much more user friendly also whenever entering reader mode on ios 9 you now have some new interface options so you can change text size colors very similar to ibooks now this is such a small one i thought whether or not i should include this or not but safari has received a reversed little x on ios 9 so it's now reverse colors of those of ios 8 in ios 9 when trying to navigate somewhere you now have three shortcuts one for my home my work and you can add favorites over here it's really nice to have these at your disposal right here maps also has this new feature called route avoidance so it'll give you these little warnings up here basically of road work any events in particular traffic so it's a lot like ways now built into the maps application hmm, we saw this on a jailbreak tweak not too long ago but now while recording video in ios 9 you can disable and enable the flash unit on the back without interrupting your video the auto lock settings now has a new option for 30 seconds coming soon is a move to ios app that will easily import all of your contacts addresses basically everything from android to ios and this will be available very soon also coming soon when you activate the silent mode on your device and you try and activate siri she will not activate now an extremely useful feature that not a lot of people talk about is app thinning in ios 9 now it's not in use yet however what it does is it basically makes app downloads a lot smaller for older devices basically it filters an application for an older device an iphone 6 plus is going to use different graphics and different power for an application a smaller device like a 4s doesn't need those bigger graphics so applications in the app store now will have different downloads for different devices resulting in smaller app size now when using a bluetooth keyboard with your ipad and you're inside of the messaging application you can actually send texts with the enter button finally a lot of people have been asking that for a while and there's many more shortcuts as well now this is a feature that stood out to me in particular if you pair your device with your car's bluetooth or any bluetooth speaker and you get alerts on your phone the alerts will sound from your phone's speaker not from the speaker that your iphone is paired to the only alerts that will go through is a phone call so that's a good step in the right direction from distraction with your music now this is an extremely tiny one but something i've noticed is that the restore and update bar when updating or restoring to ios 9 is now thicker so you can see your progress easier ios 9 the health application can now track your sexual history a lot of this is going to be blank for a lot of people but overall it is here track your sexual health if you absolutely want to now aside from just one new category in the podcast application it has received an overhaul now it has a new look and now whenever playing an individual podcast you have a mini player down here so taken straight from the new music application it's available on every single page and you know quickly look at your podcast swipe it out of your way and do your thing if you have difficulty with a touch screen on iPhones you can adjust the touch settings through touch accommodations in accessibility so from here you can make the screen personalized to your touch if you have difficulty using it we all know handoff right well in iOS 9 it will now be available over cellular so you're not limited to just a Wi-Fi connection now using Xcode 7 iOS 9 now allows for the side loading of apps so if you want to install any apps that are unsupported by your device you can do so now using Xcode now this is a feature a lot of people use Android because of so it's it's nice to see it find its way over to iOS. Now, thanks to a new SDK, Apple is finally allowing native screen recording in iOS 9. So all of those third-party applications you'll no longer have to use, iOS 9 will allow it natively. And guys, there you go. So those are 50 more hidden features in iOS 9 that Apple didn't really tell you about. So hopefully in this video, you learned a thing or two about iOS 9 that you didn't learn from my previous video. Uh, I'm actually surprised. I'm finding more and more things every single day, and I'm sure there will be plenty of new features in the next beta of iOS 9. I'm really excited to see everything Apple is going to be adding from now until the final release. Enjoy iOS 9 once it does drop. There's plenty of great features inside. Have a great day, guys. Peace.